What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So I just did a couple of videos, and I had mentioned that I had some more stuff coming, and one of the things arrived. So I just want to go over it really quick. I just got it, so I can't, you know, say it's fantastic or it's crap. Um, but I just want to go over it, and then after I use it for a little while, I'll come back on and review it again. So this is the Chrome Industries tech accessory pouch so i'm not sure if anybody knows about chrome industries i just got turned on to them recently um and uh yeah i'll go over a little bit of what, about them a little bit so it comes in this bag chrome industries uh just says what the color is it is the accessory pouch this is what they're calling duck camo um so this is that pattern and i thought this was an interesting pattern it looks pretty cool so i figured i'd uh check it out see what's going on with it so from what I understand about Chrome Industries is uh, that Chrome Industries was started in Colorado by like a couple dudes in their garage and they were using salvage materials to make, you know, items and, and gear and stuff. And then over history, you know, in time, uh, they kind of moved around. They were in San Francisco and then now they've uh, set up shop in Portland, Oregon. So that's where the headquarters is now. Now this is 100% made in the United States. It is lifetime warrantied, and uh, that's super cool. Chrome Industries also makes sling bags. Um, they make cycling bags for, like, bicycling and stuff. They do have a clothing line, and they do have a footwear line, and their clothing and footwear is actually uh, guaranteed for a year. So there's, like, a – that's pretty cool, I think. So they have a, a warranty on their clothing and footwear. This is lifetime warranty. And like I said, they make sling bags, they make messenger bags, they make backpacks, they make cycling bags, they make clothes, they make shoes. So super awesome. And uh, this bag on their website, which I will link uh, in the description, and I will also link this, I got this on their Amazon store, was $26 on Amazon. Uh, it's originally $32 on their actual site. It's not a lot of this color left. I think they might be getting rid of it, but I'm not really sure. But um, this color is not on their actual website. It is only on the Amazon site that I saw. They do have another bag um, that I do want to pick up. It's like a shoulder bag, and uh, that is in this color. But I think that's all they got left for this color from what I see. So they might be phasing it out. So if you want to you know, jump on this one, get to the Amazon and check it out because I think it's going out pretty soon, personally. I don't really know, though. But... Um, the reason that I got <laughs> this bag is uh, I've been trying to buy more American stuff when I can. Um, so I was actually looking at a Viper Aid pouch, the VE10. Now, what I'm saying about uh, buying American over China is that if the item is a similar price point, obviously I'm going to try and buy American all day, every day. And that's basically what happened here. I am not familiar really all that much with Chrome Industries. I'm not affiliated with them or, you know, associated with them in any way. Um, I just got it because it was an American-made product. And, um, yeah, the Viperade VE10 was $24. And this is on sale for $26. I mean, obviously, that's a no-brainer. Either China for $24 or America for $26 on sale from $32. Got to go with American. 100% all day, every day. So, again, this is Tech Accessory Pouch. Comes with these tags. I literally just got it. It does have YKK zippers and has these uh, paracord zipper pulls. They did an interesting tie here where they tied it through here and through there. So, that's kind of cool. Um, so, it is a clamshell opening. Um, from what I understand, this is a, this fronting, this front facing here is a TPE material, uh, which is kind of like a plastic and rubber material put together so it's uh, pretty water resistant it's not waterproof but it is water resistant so um that's pretty cool the rest of it is made out of um i believe they said 1050d nylon and the inside is 70d poly so pretty solid right here it's got the ykk zippers um and the slides like i said it is water resistant it does on the back have this velcro uh strap so you can attach it to a backpack um strap if you want and it also has like right here it has these uh attachment points um similar to molly um if you wanted to like stick some things through there or whatever if that's what you wanted to do you can do that so that's pretty cool this is pretty solid it's made out of like seat belt material right there you can see really well stitched um 
And then inside, it does have a large mesh pocket over here. Um, it has one, two, three uh, elastic loops. Then it has a pocket here, and then it has a pocket there. So that's what we got going on right there. So for some reason, I actually thought this was a lot bigger than what it is, actually. And it's really not that big. It's actually, I think they it's what they said, seven and a half by like four, four and a half. So it's not really all that big. I thought it was way bigger than this for some reason. I'm not really sure why, um, but it's actually a pretty decent size. So it is a tech accessory pouch. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually use it for that, but I do have a full size anchor battery, which is the 313 Slim Pro, and that does fit in there. So that's a 10,000 mAh battery, charge your phone twice. Um, so that goes in there really well, and it's really well protected because this is really padded. This TPE material that's on the front is actually super padded, so you ain't got to worry if you drop it or something. It's going to be okay. I mean, this was pretty solid anyway. This is my wife's um, battery pack. I just bought the same one, though. Um, it's got the button right there. It tells you what the charge is. Um, it's got the USB-A, uh, a USB-C, and a micro. So it has a few uh, different things going on there. Now, it does have these elastic loops. So, I mean, if you wanted to put stuff in there, you could. I don't know what, well, that's kind of tight. It is new though. So you can put some small stuff in there. Uh, I don't know, you on flashlight. I got an A7X. Uh, so some smaller things will fit down there if you wanted to. Use it as an EDC uh, pouch. It's got pretty good retention. I mean, this is pretty slick. So it's not really fitting in there all that well. But like I said, it does fit a full size Anchor 313 Slim Pro. 10,000 mAh battery, so you could do that. I mean, right now, what I was carrying, actually I'm not carrying anymore, was a pouch, and I used it for the wires. I'm using a lever gear cable kit now, and a, a smaller battery that I'm gonna get rid of once I get this, or I might keep that smaller battery as a backup. Um, so, I'm carrying it. Oh yeah, my man surviving the daily loves this. Don't be a salty bitch. <laughs> That's that pouch. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty solid. I mean, like I said, I just got it in the mail, haven't used it, but there are some things you can do with it. Um, I think I saw them using, hold on one second, pens. They put pens in here like that. I mean, that's kind of odd because it's blocking off these two things, but you could get a, a pen down here. This is an F301, so if you wanted to get a pen in there, you probably could. You could get some other things in there probably. I'm not sure. I have a log and jotter notebook. Let's see if that'll fit. Uh, geez. It's tight. No, well, no, it does. It actually fits. It's, I mean, it's not easy though. <laughs> so if you got something here, seems like you got to take this out and put this in first. So yeah, you can get it in there if you put that in there first. Um, but maybe it'll be easier to go in over here. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it would be a better option to put it on this side, actually. Um, so log and jotter will fit. Um, I have carry notes made by my, my man Cody from Harpo Like Press. Check him out on Amazon. This is a bigger notebook, so this one won't fit. Um, it's just wider uh, and higher than the uh, Log and Jotter, but this one is bound too. So this is awesome quality. Um, it's just a little bit big. This is more of a bag carry, I guess. Um, so yeah, you can get the Log and Jotter over here as well. Uh, I don't know if the battery will go over there. Let's see if that goes over there. Yeah, so the battery will fit over there too. So, but with kind of once. This is in here. I'm not thinking you can get it much more in here because it'll be a little tight. But you can use this for your wires if you wanted to. I mean, whatever, there's a lot of options. And like I said, it's well padded right here in the front. Also in the back, it does have the strap attachment. Oh, it also has a D-ring. If you wanted to hook something to that, that is on the bottom. Um, but overall, it looks solid. Love the camo, um, the orange duck, duck camo pattern that they got going on. So I will start using this as something, maybe what its intended purpose is or whatever. I got enough uh, EDC pouches, so I probably might actually use this as a tech uh, accessory pouch like it's meant to be. I just, I don't think this will fit in my bag, so I would have to carry this uh, like alone or in a backpack or something, but it's definitely gonna fit in a bag. If you got a larger bag, my bag's only uh, four liters, so, um, it probably won't fit in there. And like I said, I actually am carrying the cable kit, so I don't need an actual huge tech, tech, you know, tech bag, but this is super cool. If you want to go away or, uh, you know, something like that and you need a larger, 
um, bag to put more stuff in, but it is definitely why kick it says right there. Um, so yeah, super cool bag. Um, going to test it out, you know, in some, some kind of variation. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. it. It would make a good, uh, EDC bag though, for real. Um, but I'm not sure I'm going to use it for that. I just, uh, got to figure it out, but I will put the link to their main website in the description and I will link this Amazon, um, purchase where I got it from on their store. Check it out. Like I said, I think they're going out with this color. They're not going to have it much longer. So you should get on it and, uh, pick it up if it's something you think you'll like. Again, 26 bucks on sale from $32. This is the Chrome Industries Tech Accessory Pouch. You guys have a good one.